with technology growing as it is, that there is the ability for more people to do something high quality and that, you know, fan films or any sort of independent films don't have to be a bit dodgy or a bit low, low budget, basically. Um, so yeah, low budget doesn't have to mean low quality. Born of Hope is a prequel to The Lord of the Rings and it's all about Aragorn's mum and dad basically and how they meet and what happens to them through their journey until Aragorn is about two years old at the end. The whole story is taken from about two, two paragraphs in the appendices of The Lord of the Rings. Um, that and a timeline I think written by Tolkien and the rest we basically just had to expand on that and make up the rest and invent new characters and, and really sort of try and make decisions for what Tolkien might have been thinking. For me as a professional actor, it, I would never be offered to play the main, the lead character in one of these films. So for me, that was, that was a great motivation. To be part of something uh, Tolkien, um, action adventure is my thing, so you know, that, that as well. So yeah, there's loads of different motivations for it, but my main thing was, you know, I would run around in, in, in woodlands fighting orcs with a, a brilliant sword and have long hair. <laughs> that was one of the biggest things. There's about 400 people on the credits, so this, that's a, an extreme uh, amount of people who got involved in, in all sorts of areas. And it, little bits like doing um, a prop um, to playing uh, the characters in the film, um, to doing post-production, CGI stuff. Yeah, so, uh, loads of skills have been involved and loads of people. One of our main art department guys, a guy called Edward, who's out in, in London, Ontario, in Canada, he helped design some of the main hero swords that we used in the film that were then consequently made here in the UK and we had the writer out in Michigan and she also made lots of the, the prop arrows and quivers and things like that and sent them over. Um, we had people in various areas in Europe and in the Netherlands and Germany and France, Denmark, places like that all designing things like doing costume design or some concept art. contact from Peter Jackson or any Hollywood exec? <laughs> no, unfortunately not yet. You never know though. We still keep our fingers crossed that someone might sort of um, pop out of the woodwork. Um, and it would be lovely to hear from someone like Peter Jackson to sort of know that he'd seen the film and what he thought of it would be really great.